to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen Welcome to the Trucker Rudy Show Yes indeed, it finally stopped snowing this morning Yeah, and we were able to get back on the road And uh, the one big hill that I was worried about the most was up there by Minot, North Dakota and that one they had put some kind of chemical down and that road was just wet but it wasn't icy like you see here and so uh, I was able to make it over there no problem whatsoever so now we got one coming up here in a little bit that's one that is the next biggest one out here so after I make this one if I can then that's pretty much it. I don't have any more big hills after that, right? So, so let's get up to speed a little bit so I get a little bit of a momen momentum so I can make it up that hill, hopefully. Hopefully they'll put some chemical on here too so that way we can make it. And all that good stuff over the bridge, we gotta be careful, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna get going here and uh, We'll talk with you guys later. All right, guys, we did indeed make it over that hill. It wasn't too bad there going up the hill there. So we are happy, happy campers right now that we made it past that hill. I think that's the last one that I that that I was I'm really I was really worried about because uh, after this I don't think we have any more big hills to, to climb. So. Other than there in Saskatchewan, there's two valleys up there that are pretty good hills up there, so... But that's about it. We got a snow plow here now. And the thing is, they're not really putting any chemicals or anything out here on the road. If they were to do that, like they did up there in Minot, the road is fine. The road would be wet, but that's it, you know? And they're not doing that, so... That's the sad part about it, you know? But anyways, I was going to give a few tips uh, on uh, on this whole situation here. For those of you that are new drivers or, uh, you know, or even if you've been driving for a little bit, this is your first winter or whatever, you know, this might be some good advice for you. And that is if you drive in a snowstorm like this and you decide to park somewhere for the night or whatever, make sure that you do not pull the trailer brakes first of all and then another good idea is to uh, let everything cool off a little bit once you're parked like let's say you park and then wait for about 15 minutes and then move your truck forward and backwards a little bit and then maybe wait another 15 20 minutes and do it again and the reason why that's very important to do that in winter is so that way your brakes don't freeze. Yes. Otherwise, you know, because your tires and your brakes, they get hot. And then when snow, uh, you know, you get snow build up around the, around the brakes and all of that. And when you stop, that heat is just enough heat to create a little bit of melting going on. And then the water runs into your uh, brake drum and brake shoes and that. And if that happens, then that's where your brake freezes. So that's why I'm saying make sure that you move at least twice, maybe even three times, you know, before you go to bed. So that way you can uh, make sure that your brakes don't freeze. And also the same deal is with your tires and they're sitting on ice. It, 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 it creates a little melting and then you're just creating more ice underneath your tires so if you move a little bit then you're not uh, on that spot either or whatever you know because I had a driver there this morning I think his trailer brakes were frozen and he didn't want to believe that it was his trailer brakes so he uh, he's sitting there spinning his drive tires trying to get going and he's not able to get going you know but anyways just a few tips here and there, and that's it. I have just made it across the border, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we are happy, happy campers now. Looks like the road is starting to get a little bit better too. That's exactly what I suspected was going to happen. 
because uh, they were not supposed to get quite as much snow up here as far as I could tell but it did start snowing again here a few minutes ago but it's not snowing bad you know like it's not really super heavy stuff you know so we'll see I think once we will be on the other side of uh, Astavan or a little further north we'll be out of this stuff I think so I'm not 100% sure but that's kind of what I'm thinking but at least we got better roads than what we had up there earlier right so that's a good bonus already right there yep we have made it into Canada again yeah this is part of winter eh never know what's going to happen. Now we stopped there at the border and as soon as we uh, you know crossed the booth there and hopped out real quick and cleaned my lights a little bit so that way people can see my lights and all that good stuff. You know you want to be able to make sure that people can see your uh, your tail lights when you're going down the road right and since we were driving through a lot of that snow and snow drifts and stuff like that my lights were pretty covered you know especially since I do have LED lights on the trailer on this particular trailer I uh, had to clean them because they were completely covered because if you have traditional lights you know they uh, they create a lot more heat and then the snow will melt but uh, these LED lights they almost do not create any heat at all so so then they don't really melt the snow away from the lights but well come back that's guy uh, that's right we are definitely home sweet home now well not quite yet but we'll see how far we can make her tonight we got good roads we'll be hammered down that's for sure keep that left door closed eh? I am just coming into Moose Jaw Saskatchewan we have just turned on to Highway 1 here a few minutes ago and right after we turn on to Highway 1 it's where Moose Jaw is so we are going to go ahead and pull in over here at the Flying J and fill the truck up and fill my buddy up well we're gonna try anyways we're gonna grab us a bite to eat here and all that good stuff yeah I'm getting kind of hungry I haven't had anything to eat yet today already got at least five hours worth of driving behind me so I'm hungry I'm very hungry actually so let's go in here and fuel her up and then uh, go from there I'll just uh, might check to see how windy it is and all that and in 500 meters. I might actually fly my drone a little bit here. We'll see. It's not snowing anymore. It's, I don't think it's really that windy. I, I, I really don't think it is windy. So I might show you a little bit around. I'll sit down and buy you a cup This truck stop and coffee We both know will fix you right up I can't drive a big rig But man, I play a lot of shows I'll either drive to you As they can sing in these tunes Cause it's the only life I know I'll pick the guitar And you drive the truck Hey, I play the gigs and you drive the rigs, you know it's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired Of living this life we love I'll pick the guitar And you drive the truck Oh, tell us about it, Mo. Well, I better get it going If I'm gonna make Dallas by noon I pick a little guitar for jamming the gear I'll have to do After four million miles You think there's nowhere left to go And I'll climb back up 
I don't cry Cause it's the only life I know So you pick the guitar And I'll drive the truck You play the gauge and I'll drive the rig You know it's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired Living this life we love You pick the guitar I'll drive the truck Yeah, and I'll pick the guitar I'll drive the truck Yeah, I'll play the gigs I'll drive the rig It's in our blood I guess we'll never get tired of living this life we love. I'll pick a guitar and I'll drive the truck. You pick the guitar, hey, you got the truck. Watch that Jake break. It's getting in our song here, boys. Hammer down, boys. I'm gonna head it on back to Nashville now. Oh, grind them gears a little bit so I can hear you. That's awful pretty truck you got there, Mo. Oh, boy. Won't you park that old truck? Come on down to Nashville with me and do a little singing. Alrighty guys, we are now in Calgary. We've been here since last night already. We got here late last night. Around 10 o'clock last night we got here and then I dropped my trailer at the terminal. And that's what they asked me to do yesterday afternoon. And then uh, I bobtailed over here to the Husky and met up with JP Mallet. Yes indeed I did. Although we didn't do any videoing but uh, we did have us a great time. We went to a restaurant down the street here and had us a very good supper and he gave me a Christmas present already. Wow, yeah, he did. Thank you very much there, Mr. JP. I appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, so now we're ready to go here for the next day. And so I figured I'll close off my show and uh, start a new day. So. Uh, Without further ado, let's get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.